Mike Pacelli here coming to you from my studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, for this lesson, I'm going to talk about uh, beginning slide playing. Now, when you first try to play slide guitar, it could be really an undaunting task because it's a whole other ballpark from um, playing regular guitar. And the main thing is that when we play guitar, we press down on the neck, of course, to fret a note. So if you want to play uh, this A, you go on the 10th fret second string and press down and you get your note. But if you want to play slide, you have to not press the string down. Just put the slide right over the 10th fret, right over the middle, and kind of use the slide as a fret. So in actuality, you're, you're best off to kind of pick up a little bit to kind of put pressure on the slide. So if we're looking at a slide and that's the string, you want this, the, the, the slide to be the fret of sorts. There's a lot of things you have to decide too, and it's just first you got to experiment with like what kind of slide should you use. Uh, some folks prefer something metal. Um, my good friends at V-Pick make an acrylic one, and uh, you know, same people that make the, the Pacelli V-Pick, uh, you could find out about it at vpicks.com if you like. So acrylic. But um, when I started, I, I used a thing called a, it was a Corsedin bottle, and the Corsedin was either an allergy medicine or was it a headache medicine, but it's a bottle that looks like this, and, and for me, just because I'm comfortable with using it, I'm okay still using a Corsedin bottle type slide. And, and then you have to determine what finger do you want to use it on. You want to put it on your second finger, your third, your fourth. There's really no right or wrong. It's really what, what works for you. I've uh, determined that uh, I like it on my third finger. Um, I can still use my first and second finger to do kind of basic you know power chords and things and it just works out better for me if I use it on my third finger but again you have to experiment with this to see what's most natural and easiest for you because there's no right or wrong in playing slide guitar um, the other thing is you kind of got to get your tone so it's like this gigantic monster about to explode and then roll down on your volume control a little bit in order to get the uh, the, the, the desired effect. Same thing with your tone control. You know, if you usually keep it all the way up, you might want to put it on about four or five to get a little mellower sound. And the other thing is with, with the amp. I mean, I've got an amp room behind me and my amp is cranked in there pretty much to get a, a nice, you know, thick tone. Um, and I'm using quite a lot of processing too, uh, also, because again, it's like you want to have this rocket ship that is about to explode, then, then go down a little bit on your tone so that you could control you know the, the the rocket ship, but as you can see on my board, I'm using a uh, I'm using a Jetter Overdrive and an EP booster to boost the middle. Uh, I've also got a Dynacomp going on to compress it, and then I have a noise suppressor because if I took off the noise suppressor, you'd hear all the the, the unwanted uh, noise from the amp. Okay, so you just have to you know experiment to see what works uh, uh, best for you, and be patient because slide guitar is uh, something entirely different. Next thing is the guitar you use. Now, in the perfect world, you'll have your specific slide guitar and you'll keep the action up as, as high as possible. You know, in my lesson on Dobro that's on this uh, website too, you can see that, you know, the Dobro keeps the strings of, you know, almost like an inch from the neck, so playing a slide is no problem. But um, if you're used to playing rock guitar and your, and your strings are very close to the neck, it's going to be very difficult to play slide because you're going to get so much, you know, a fret noise than when you play. Uh, this guitar has medium action, I'd say, uh, height action, and the strings are, you know, I think it's like uh, probably 10 through 56. So they're a little heavier than rock strings, so I'm able to get, uh, you know, uh, a, a pretty good slide sound. So I'll have my volume about on 7 with my uh, all this processing, and um, in order to get a sound, uh, again, it's probably good. I, I like to use a pick. Plenty of people use fingers, you know, to pick up a little bit. But in order to get a tone, you want to kind of pick up. So, like, I'll find that A again, and I'll put the slide right above the uh, the tenth fret, and I'll kind of pick up a little bit to make make the tone. So I'm not picking my usual down. I'm thinking just picking up a little bit so that again, the string. The string that's lying against the slide is kind of, as I pick, you know, using the slide as a fret. And it takes a while to get that. But the first thing you want to do is put the slide on and then just, just experiment with that. Picking up a little bit to see if you can get notes clean. Now again, it may be easier 
to use your finger because when you when you get, put your finger in there, you know you automatically kind of pick up, and and it, the tone changes radically too depending on the thickness of your fingers. Now, what's advantageous about your fingers is that when you go to a separate string, you know, you can have like your first finger on the second string and your thumb on the third string. So when you do little traditional uh, slide sounds, you know, you're, you're, you're picking the strings with individual fingers and that makes everything a lot easier. But uh, for some reason, you know, I play it usually with a pick and pick and fingers just to make my life a little more difficult. <laughs> so again, find a note. And uh, roll your, your tone back a little bit, your volume too, and just work it in ever so slightly. And your ear has to be the judge to whether you're in tune too. That's my open note, so. It's a great tone though, isn't it? It just has such a, I don't know, a slide sound. I really enjoy playing slide. Okay, um, there's a couple of moves that you'll always hear uh, slide guitar use. And, and basically, if we're not, take the slide off for a minute. You know, it'd be a note like from um, uh, A to G to E, you know, like. Okay, and when you do it on slide, you have to be very careful. Okay, we'll get the A. Okay, the frets, if you're not note uh, familiar, would be B string, fret 10 to eight, and on the G string, uh, fret uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so those are the three frets I'm gonna deal with right now. So I wanna go the A, oops, turn the volume on, the A, to the G, to the E, to the G, to the A. You've heard that a million times, right? Uh, you know, the Dwayne Allman kind of a lick. And it's a little tricky at first, but just practice it extremely slow. But this is one move you, you're gonna wanna get if you're gonna, gonna seriously, you know, go after being a slide player. So you take that, the A, to the G, to the E. Now why, why am I not getting a lot of extraneous uh, uh, string noises? That's because I'm always muting. Now with the slide, you need to, behind the slide, use these fingers to mute strings. So the slide is, is resting and not pressing down, and then there's always a finger behind the slide just basically muting very lightly on the strings behind the slide. And that's very important to get a clean slide tone. If you keep your fingers all up, it gets real messy sounding. You know, you get, you get other extraneous noise. So you want something here always to, to rest. Uh, like touching the strings like the slide is touching the strings. And the other thing is with the, uh, the side of your right hand too, you can always, any strings that you're not playing, you should be muting. And that's a pain in the butt when you first start doing it, but you, you're just gonna have to do it. Otherwise, you know, your guitar is gonna explode into a, a lot of extraneous noise that you're not necessarily gonna want. So practice that first move. And then let your ear be the judge. Now, I'm in standard tuning, because I think it's easiest to learn uh, slide guitar in standard tuning, because you already have all these licks that you know. And I'm thinking in the key of A, and I'm just basically thinking A pentatonic right now. But um, you know, try to try to play a lick first without the slide. Right. So I'm going on second string, uh, ten eight. Uh, is that ten eight? Yeah, ten eight. And then uh, third string, eight seven five. And on the fourth string, seven. So that'll be my lick. All right, then try it with the slide, but go real slow. It's always cool to slide into it. I guess maybe that's why they call it slide. And it has such a vocal and organic sound that you just don't get when you don't use the slide. You know? And I have a tendency to want to make it vocal, so if you see when I'm playing without the slide, I'm bending the note. But with the slide, slide into that note. So, again. Right? Okay, and then just, just take it, I'd say when you first start, don't try to play on all the strings, because it's, it's actually a lot dif more difficult on the lower strings, um, just because of the way your hand has to come around, because you want to keep the slide flat. 
You know, so just just practice maybe on the third and the uh, second and the second, third and fourth strings. I think they're the easiest. When you get to the E string, the thinnest string, it gets a little harder because the string is thinner. You just really have to be extremely delicate by t when you're touching the neck. I'm mean, sorry, touching the string. And you have to be, you know, pick up again, you know, up more like this way. I'm picking up to try to make the string hit the actual slide to get the note. But on the uh, E string, it's very hard. You have know, to be really delicate. But the second, third, and fourth string are a lot easier. So just take your time and, and play some licks that you know. Now that little lick that I showed you earlier, the works really great. Now if we would take think about A minor, we play that exact same lick on frets, um, what would it be, 15, 14, and, uh, no, 15, 13, and 14. Having a hard time counting today. <laughs> so it'd be an A minor lick. Just again, let your ear be the judge and play some licks that you that you already play. Just simple little things and uh, take your time. I'm going a little fast now because there's only so much time in the lesson, but the slower you do this, the better. And again, I can't uh, emphasize enough that, that you, sh you need to work on one note first, like just take your 10th uh, fret on the second string and really be able to hit that note in tune and make it sound, you know, like, like, uh, like you want it to sound. And then there's always, you know, slide vibrato. And uh, I think that's basically uh, relative to your nervous system, the way you can move your hand, but find your note and then move the slide up and down, you know, ever so gently. It's great because sustain, you know, goes on forever. Something we can't do without the slide. So that gives it that vocal, uh, that vocal characteristic. So I hope that helps a little bit getting you started on it. And um, you know, don't be afraid. The, the slide guitar is a bit of a monster, but it's something that you know you you can certainly do. And and. Uh, and do let me know, you know, uh, how, how it's coming. And, and uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for any other lessons, let me know that too. You can drop me a line at uh, mikepacelli.com. It's always cool to hear from you, and I'll answer every email. So until next time, or look around the site for more lessons, I'm Mike Pacelli, and uh, thanks for hanging out with me.